What is up guys, Ryan Clevenger, AKA Insta Clevin. Today, I'm doing another, don't have a name for a segment, it's where I just, morning watch? Morning wood? No, I don't know why I would name it, but uh, just when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is go on social media, probably just like everybody else. And these are just the first three videos or pictures or combination of something that catch my eye that I think are funny, entertaining, whatever. Let's just dive in. The first one is gonna be about what I think is a safari gone wrong. I don't know what these people were thinking. Let's take a look. First thing I noticed in this, if you're on a safari, ain't you supposed to be in like an armored vehicle? Like that's what I want. Like if I'm going on safari, I want doors, windows with bars. I want the whole nine yards. I don't want there to be a chance of anything getting in there. This thing has a windshield, which I don't even know what the point is at this point. Keep bugs out of your face, but you can't keep the line out of the fucking car. This ain't a safari for me. And the crazy thing is, everybody just sitting here like acting like it's normal. Nobody's freaking out. Nobody took off running. Nobody's crying. I'm in the backseat. I'm probably fucking just bawling, just man crying. I'm, I don't want to die by lying. Look, they just got all got their cameras out like it's the coolest shit. No way. I'm out of there. Does it make no sense? Like, what if you ain't beat jerky right before you got on this little safari ride? You're gonna lose your fucking hand because this guy's gonna get a little whiff and he's gonna be hungry. Like I said, the safari idea is cool, you can see exotic animals, but I want to be in an armored vehicle that has bars on the window, that if one does get close and it kind of turns its head, I can maybe like poke it in the back of the neck real quick and say I touched the fucking lion or tiger, but that's about it. These people are psycho. I would not pay money to go on the safari. And next video is a video of a kid receiving what I'm assuming is his, what I'm assuming is his first pet, and he's not excited about it, which in this instance makes me think this kid is like he's got his mind right. He can't even see what's in the box yet. He's freaking out. He can just sense it. What is it? A fucking cat. He has the right to be fucking terrified. This kid's a dog lover all the way, and I already love him. <laughs> the cries a lot. He is not happy at all, and the cat is scoot, which I don't blame the cat either. But this kid just reacting the way he's reacting to a cat. This kid's got good instincts. His feel, his intuition. Is on point. This kid's gonna go places. He's gonna do big things one day. Cats suck. Dogs are the best. And then lastly, we have an apology, a picture of an apology cake. And this is actually a picture of an apology cookie. Now, I'm sure you've seen plenty of these online. It's where somebody puts an apology on a cake, and it's usually for something outlandish, outlandish, which makes it funny. And so it's like, sorry, I pissed in your closet last night. Uh, sorry, I banged your ex. Sorry, I gave you chlamydia. Something along those lines. I've seen them all. They're always funny because it's on a cake, so it's kind of like cute. But it's like apologizing for something egregious, you know. But this one caught my eye. You'll see why real quick. Sorry, I gave you crabs. So, so apologizing for an STD or whatever you call crabs. My question is, are crabs a real thing? I've been alive 29 years. I was in college. I was in a fraternity. I have promiscuous friends, and I've never heard of nobody that I know getting crabs when I've been a friend of a friend of a friend. Like I think of it as like scurvy, uh, the bubonic plague. Like you've, I've heard of it, but it's not something I've ever known nobody getting. Like was it just pirates that were fucking on ships back in the day, like mermaids? I don't know what was going on. But I think by now in my life, I would have heard about somebody getting crabs, a friend of a friend. And even if that's something you don't tell people, I think if you get an STD, there's something like you're a morally correct person, if that's the proper term, that there's a chain where you call like anybody that you had sex with, sex with recently like hey got crabs did you give them to me who gave them to me we're on a crab hunt whatever std you got you got to make that call so you would have thought that i would have heard about i think i would have heard about by now so i just don't know crabs i'm pinging marking stamping crabs having crabs as an urban myth but that's it guys thanks for watching um like subscribe blah 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 see you